One of the biggest challenges in vacation scheme and training contract applications is tailoring your answers to that firm. And by tailoring your answer, I mean to write answers that were specifically about that firm and aren't generic because generic applications will usually fail. So in this video, I'm gonna go over three ways that you can tailor your application to a specific firm and be able to stand out from the crowd. If you're new here, my name's Aydin. I'm a trainee solicitor at a commercial law firm in London. I make videos about the application process and my experience as a trainee. So if that's the sort of thing you're interested in, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, let's get back to how you can tailor your law firm applications. The first way you can tailor your applications to a specific firm is to read that firm's annual report or annual review. By reading the firm's annual report, you'll be able to use information that not everyone else is using. And the reason for this is that a lot of candidates will be reading what the firm's website says or what Legal Cheek says or Chamber Student says, but not a lot of candidates will be reading the law firm's annual report. For those of you who don't know, a law firm's annual report or annual review is a document that most firms produce every year. And in it, they go over everything they've done in the year that's just gone and everything they plan to do in the coming year. It can give you loads and loads of useful information to use in your application. They'll talk about their global strategy, about their financial results, um, the effectiveness of their diversity initiatives, literally everything that you can think of that the firm has done or is planning to do is in here. So it's filled with loads of useful information that you can use in your application form. And it's not just the law firm's annual report that you can look at to try and get unusual information um, to use in your application form. Finding unique sources of information about that firm will let you tailor your application and also stand out from the crowd where everyone else might be saying similar things. Another potential source of unique information could be law firm podcasts. A lot of firms are doing this right now and in it they talk to their clients sometimes, they talk about the deals that they do, um, they sometimes talk about the changes in the sectors that they work in. So there's loads you can pick up from there and it's not really a common resource that applicants will use when they're doing their application forms. So if you do look into those things, you'll be able to stand out from everyone else applying. A second way you can tailor your application is to speak to people at the firm to find out what it's really like there. When you speak to people at the firm, they'll give you their unique experiences, which will be a bunch of things that they've experienced through their time at the firm. And by definition, just because you're speaking to individuals who will have different experiences, these will be unique and tailored to that specific firm. As well as that, if you've reached out to someone and spoken to them and got their views on certain elements of what the firm's doing, that's not gonna be something that's on an application brochure and it's not gonna be something that everyone else will be able to say as well. So for example, you might be really interested in the CSR or corporate social responsibility initiatives that are taking place at a firm. So what you can then do is reach out to a trainee at the firm who's involved in the CSR initiatives that the firm's running and learn more about how they really work from their experience. You can ask things like how they prioritize their work obligations with their um, social responsibility obligations or how applications work to join these committees or things like what the plans are for the coming year. So when you write about CSR in your application now, you'll be able to bring in this information that you've got from speaking to this trainee. That'll make your answer more tailored and more unique. You can reach out to trainees on LinkedIn to see if you can get these sorts of conversations started. I've got a video on how best to do that and I'll link that in the description below. But otherwise, when you go to open days, networking events, virtual events, just keep a note of anything that anyone says that you think is interesting and you might want to use in your application and also make a note of their name as well so if it comes up you can say that this is a person who you heard this from. The third way you can tailor your application answers is by specifically tailoring your application answers to you. This is because you are completely unique and there is no one else out of the 7 billion people or 8 billion people or however many billion people there are in the world There you go, out of the 7.753 billion people in the world, there's not one of them who've had the same experience as you. Now, tailoring your answers to you is a really important step in the application answer process. And it's one that a lot of candidates fail to do. The reason it's so important is because it's pretty much the difference between just parroting back something that the firm knows about itself back to the firm and really using something about the firm to sell yourself and sell your experience to them. So for example, 
a sentence in your application answer that isn't tailored to you could be something like this. I'm drawn to the firm as it has offices in over 20 countries and engages in complex international work. Now, that's something that might be true, but literally thousands of other people could put that same sentence in their application form. But you need to think why you want to work in a place that has cross-border work or international work or whatever it is that you're talking about. What are the specific experiences that you've had or the specific qualities in that law firm that appeal to you and make you feel that you'd be really suited for this firm? So going back to that answer from before, what you could say instead if you want to tailor it to yourself is, the firm has offices in over 20 countries and engages in international work. Having spent a year of my undergraduate degree studying abroad in France, I developed an understanding of different legal systems and working cultures, and I'm keen to explore this in a work environment. In that second example, you can see that you've really said why the 20 offices of the firm and the international work and stuff appeals to you. It's because you've had this experience in the past where you've been exposed to international stuff through your year abroad in France, and that's what you want to carry forward into the firm. And what's important is that second bit, talking about your experience, going to France, whatever it is, um, not only makes the sentence more interesting because it's just interesting to know what people have done, but also it makes it more unique to you and it makes it something that not everyone else will be able to write because not everyone else has had the same experiences as you. So that's an example of how you can use your experiences to really tailor your answer and make it completely unique. So that brings us to the end of this video on how you can tailor your answers for the law firm applications. I hope these tips will help you improve in your applications and impress the firms you're applying to and ultimately get further in the application process. As always, let me know what you thought of this video by leaving a thumbs up, a thumbs down or a comment down below. And as I said at the beginning, if you're doing applications right now or you're interested in the trainee experience, I'll be putting videos like that out in the future, so do consider subscribing. I've also got an Instagram page which I use to post updates and ask for video ideas. So if you've got any ideas for future videos that you think you'd want me to do, follow me there and do send me a message. Anyway, I hope this helps you out and I'll catch you next time.